information coming in Pisces and so yeah let's go ahead and get started Pisces if you would like a private reading all the information is in the description box below it's ashunastarot at gmail.com remember to include your name your birthday and your questions uh, also if you're asking about another person uh, it helps to add their name and their birthday too um, that's just for the people that that pertains to so let's go ahead and get started Pisces the general energy coming in for your reading is the strength okay card number eight the star, the nine of wands in the reverse, the queen of swords, queen of cups, justice, and then the magician in the reverse. So this is a really interesting message. I usually don't get messages like this because I, like my way of reading Pisces is like how, like the things that pertain to you, the things that you can improve on, the things that you have control over, like that's what I like to focus on because those are the things that we can change. So again, not to throw shade or anything, but you know, I feel like a lot of other readers really focus on on the outside and the people around and like i don't know like they put too much emphasis on that and for me it's like i'd rather like give value and like things that will benefit you and the things that you can focus on and that you can change that you you know um can have an impact over and so i usually don't like to channel you know other people around you but when it comes in it comes in and so uh we do have a magician in the reverse okay so i have to just put that out there uh if this is your reading you're gonna know okay so there's no trying to make it fit anything like that if it's your reading you'll know um so yeah Pisces, let's go ahead and get started so the strength coming out is your general energy and then we're ending with the magician in the reverse so Pisces, there's something here because there's a divider here, which is justice. The justice is what's dividing the magician in the reverse from you, queen of cups. This is a Piscean energy, okay? It doesn't matter if you're male or female, queen of cups, like the king of cups, queen of cups, it represents the Piscean energy. Um, so it's like justice is in between you and this magician in the reverse, okay? So there's a dynamic here that it feels, Pisces, like, I don't know how to explain this, but before... With the nine of wands, like you might have had to build all these walls. You might have had to really be like on the fence, like protecting, protecting what it is that you have built, protecting your ship, protecting what it is that you have attained for yourself. Nine of wands, you've had to build these walls. You have to protect them and guard them. You know, you build this castle. Now you guard it and you protect it. And you don't just let anyone in because you've had to deal with a lot of lessons because of that. However, Pisces, something is different now. The nine of wands is in the reverse. And also what's in between you and the magician in the reverse is justice spirit so and for some for some of you is archangel michael again look at the sword look at the balance look at the sword look at the balance so it's divine okay divine's in the way here <laughs> there's divine intervention here pisces and so it hits a little bit differently okay uh <laughs> it's so hard to get this message out i don't know why pisces um something is different this time around you're not facing this on your own. Before, it feels like spirit might have allowed certain people to come in to teach you lessons, to help you not necessarily build walls, but learn how to manage and master boundaries. And what I'm getting from this card being in the reverse is that a lot of you have mastered boundaries, not walls, boundaries, okay? Um, there was a comment, I think, it was a really good comment. Like, it was a really good question that came in in the comments. Um, I don't remember, like, I don't want to say names. I don't remember the name, but there was a comment. In, it was pertaining to one of the readings that I did of, like, what's the difference between walls and boundaries or something like that? And the difference between walls and boundaries is walls, you shut everyone out and you shut everything out, okay? So the bad and the good too, okay? Like, the bad people and then the good people, you know? The scammy opportunities, but also the good opportunities. Walls is just, like, everything's out, right? Heartbreak is out. Love is also out, walls okay walls against the good and the bad right boundaries is you are open you are receptive yes you are open you are receptive to new opportunities to new people to new experiences however you have boundaries okay you have a queen of swords that backs you up whenever you need her all right it's not like it's not like it's up for the taking like you know you're you're that doormat or like people can just come into your bubble into your space and maybe disrespect it or because you're so giving maybe they can take advantage of that or take your compassion for weakness this is a boundary so you've developed very strong sides of you where you are a giver however you are a protector too and so <laughs> i don't know Pisces. this is kind of weird there's a lot of emphasis in these cards and what i'm feeling pisces is that you've learned a major lesson pisces you don't have walls anymore, okay? You don't have walls anymore, but you have very strong boundaries, okay? And so what this means is that you're open to new opportunities. You're open to new experiences. You're open to the good, right? 
but but you're also having those boundaries set very strong in your life so that again whether the gate is open or closed not anyone can just walk in all right there's someone guarding that gate and there's someone guarding that cup so it's not free for the taking and this is major Pisces. this is major because in the past i understand that you were trying to protect yourself because you felt like no one had your back like you felt like you had to really uh, deal with the losses and the collateral damage of trusting people that betrayed you and again i'm getting that this is pertaining to people because what is it that we can't control outside of ourselves is, is other people you know and so that made you very like very guarded maybe even a little bit paranoid like what is this person doing here what do they want from me if someone was nice to you it's like what do they want like what is your intention it's like you would it's like you would, you would feel red flags it's like why is this person being nice to me you know like why are they even in my circle like what like what business do you have here you know and i don't get like you were doing it from a bad place i get that you were doing it from a place of pain like okay like i've gone through so much already what does this person want why are they here and um and what i'm getting from this Pisces is because you had to handle these battles alone like you were the one that was left to pick up the pieces and have to heal your heart heal yourself and open it back again time after time like it's just been like this like putting the puzzle together after someone would come in and step all over it and shatter it and like some pieces may not even fit to where uh, either you had to replace them or, or build a whole new freaking puzzle like whatever that is is like you were the one that was left with that work you were the one that was left with that heavy load however it's in the reverse because now there's there's a different factor here there's spirit okay so it's like before this magician can even get to you they have to get through spirit and let's be honest that's not going to happen so pisces i don't think you understand like what you're walking into right now because you're walking into the strength phase of your life that is leading to the ten of cups okay it's been a really long journey to even get here yes but you're finally arriving okay and so you're getting to the strength phase of your life to attain the ten of cups okay so the strength is not the goal the ten of cups is but the strength is a byproduct of the ten of cups what this means is that you're being placed in a position of your life pisces that is very very different from what you've had to encounter like you have to fight these battles alone nine of wands you've had to watch your own back you've had to really clean up the mess you've really had to deal with a lot of things on like on your own you know like you you even had to watch your back from family members from significant others like from co-workers from best friends from best friends quote unquote from people that you thought you could trust you had to build these walls so high that no one could come in, good or bad, okay? And so the thing here is that spirit is shifting you to a different stage of your life, to a different phase of your life where strength is someone who has the spotlight on them, okay? And it's not, again, it's not to build your ego, but it's because there's something here that spirit has done with you. There's something here that spirit has been able to... Um, it's like you've mutated and you've become a whole nother person. Like you've gone through a metamorphosis process. You're not who you used to be, but it's grander than that. It's greater than that. It's bigger than that. It's for a higher cause. And in one of the readings, the message that came in was you are the prototype. And I don't want to use this word, but kind of like the guinea pig. Like, uh, no, I don't want to use that word, but it's like you kind of were that example. Like you were the first one, maybe in your family, maybe in your community, maybe in your circle whatever that was you were that first one to have to go through the things that you had to go through to make it on the other side of the tunnel so yes in a sense like you kind of had to trailblaze so in a sense yes you were that prototype but the thing is nobody expected that you were going to make it out alive and not only alive that you were going to be freaking glowing and crowned like that's that's a like and that's the thing pisces like spirit is kind of working through you universe is kind of working through you and this stage of your life does require the spotlight. And I know, I know 100% Pisces love their privacy. Pisces value their privacy. And so it's not saying that you're not going to have your privacy. It's saying that spirit is trying to teach through you. Spirit is trying to really demonstrate and show you off as a prototype to bring hope to a lot of other people that are about to go through and don't even know that that tunnel is in front of them. Okay. And that's major Pisces because we're talking about like a bigger kind of mission, a bigger kind of purpose. And like before I even talk more about the strength, I do want to read into the definition. Okay, because the strength means different things in different areas, but it does talk about courage, 
it does it does talk about having the courage to be seen okay not because you're trying to get attention not because you're trying to show off but because there's something the spirit wants to teach and to demonstrate and to show through the result which is you okay people thought you were gonna die Pisces they sent a little lamb out into the open out into the world with all the wolves and all the predators and that little lamb became a freaking lion like that doesn't happen Pisces that's unheard of that little lamb usually gets killed okay it usually gets preyed on it usually like it, it's it's I don't even know I don't even know if I how to explain this but it's it's crazy because no one thought you were gonna make it out alive and you might have died a few times but you were you were you were rebirthed you were saved by the grace of God you were brought back into life it, like you rose from the ashes like the phoenix rising and so that's the thing Pisces they send out a little lamb but the lion came back home <laughs> like it's like they don't recognize you Pisces they don't recognize you they can't pinpoint what the heck happened in your process and that's why spirit wants to demonstrate you and show you off <laughs> I don't know Pisces this message is coming in angry I don't know it's like I'm getting this lion energy and it's just it feels like ang it doesn't I don't want to say angry it feels like I don't know it feels like ambitious it feels inspired it feels strong it feels like okay like i i took this on i became i i did die i transformed i was rebirth now i'm this freaking lion what's next what's next okay what's next uh that's what it feels like <laughs> so it's not like angry it just feels ambitious it feels like it feels good it honestly feels powerful like there's a side of you pisces that has awakened that you didn't know that you had like there's there's this like I don't know it's like your appetite is back like <laughs> i don't know how to Pisces this is weird i'm like bear with me because i'm trying to describe it because there's something trying to come in but i can't put words like a new hunger for life has awakened within you it's like at some period of your life you might have lost taste for life like you might have felt dull like you might have felt like like it's like it's like you might have lost that appetite like you might not even wanted to eat like literally or, or like this taste for life it kind of like all became very dull it kind of all became very gray very like like a haze like I, I don't know how to explain it like you might have even felt very detached from the experience but in that process you died multiple times and the little lamb that they send out into the wolves then came back as a lion <laughs> and conquered the wolves conquered the predators conquered the, the challenges that you were faced with and you're coming back home as a lion like what the heck where is Pisces? What happened to Pisces? We sent out a little lamb and we're getting a lion back? What the heck? <laughs> and so Pisces, you are that prototype. Spirit wants to show you off. And so this is, this is like, it all connects, I promise, because we're going from the strength to the justice to the magician in the reverse. Who are those people? And again, I don't like to talk about the enemy because again, it's like, it's like, I don't know, like from a, from a higher perspective, it's like we're all kind of learning from each other. We're all kind of re reflecting unhealed aspects of ourselves and we're, we're learning through that process. But I still can't deny the haters, okay? I still can't deny when a magician in the reverse shows up in the reading. And again, that's not the focus of the reading. I don't like to be that reader that places the focus on another person or what another person is going to do because we don't have control over that. So I like to focus as much as I can on you, Pisces, but I can't deny that a magician in the reverse is in the reading. But the reason why is because you're being placed on this position and something is different this time around. You don't have to worry. You don't have to build walls. You don't have to watch your back. You don't have to do any of that because what's in between you and that magician, okay? Queen of Cups, you. Magician, them. What's in between? They can't even get to you, Pisces. They can't even touch, uh, they can't even touch a hair on you, okay? Because the justice is here. And this, again, feels a lot like Archangel Michael's energy. Is like there's been a divine order a divine order and a divine priority placed on you because you are this shining star the star and the strength and spirit wants to do a lot of work with you in the sense that you've made it out on the other side and so there's this new phase coming into your life pisces very very different than what you've experienced very different and because of that there's been divine order from higher places that you are to be cared for bubble wrapped and placed in, in a protective container and that no one is to come near you or harm you you know because you are meant to do something in this phase of your life that is that is grand pisces that is going to ripple out and is going to have a greater impact for the greater good okay so it's like it's a it's a bigger than life kind of mission pisces and this is not going to be everyone's reading 
okay? So if it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit, Pisces. But if you resonate with this and you've been going through those healing cycles, if you've been going through those wars, if you've been having to build walls and guard yourself, watch your back from your family members, from the people closest to you, from your significant other, from coworkers, from bosses, from people that you thought were your heroes, from people that you thought were your mentors turning on you, from business deals that like you, you thought you did all your due diligence and it's like all of a sudden you get met with some adversity. Like where did that even come from? It's like you've had to carry that load, that burden yourself. You've had to build those walls in that castle. You've had to fight your own battles. You've had to watch your back while you're fighting. And like, it's like you had to become all these sides of yourself to protect yourself. And you're tired. Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. You've gone to battle. You came back. Yes, but you're tired of that. And so there's something different here because spirit now is here. The spirit was there all along, but it's like you were meant to build that resilience and that character. So spirit was watching you all along. Like spirit was protecting you in this phase. It might have not felt like it. But spirit was there. But now that you've built yourself, now that that lamb became a lion, now there's like, a, there's like it's like you've made it to another level. So, so those problems are, are beneath you now. So now spirit is here because spirit is not going to allow these magicians in the reverse to come into your bubble, to come into your circle because you're meant to do something much greater. Okay? So it's like, it's kind of petty now. It's kind of petty. It's, it's like kind of like, it's, it's dust now. Um, and the thing is, like I'll have to tap more into what this magician in the reverse is because it's showing up in the reading. But this is where you find yourself now, okay? And the thing is, like, you just arrived here. But the thing is, you're going to be placed in a star position because spirit wants to showcase you the strength. And through that process, you're going to attain your ultimate fulfillment, Ten of Cups. Okay, so it's a big package deal, Pisces, of everything you've been wanting. Everything you've been wishing for is coming through this phase of your life, the strength. Okay, and in a few readings, the strength kept coming up. Like, this is the next phase of your life. And the thing is, you already became strong. <laughs> like, you already mutated. They sent out a little lamb and the lion came back. What happened to Pisces? Exactly. Transformation, mutation. Why? Because of the battles you had to fight, because of the scars, because of everything you had to go through. That's what caused this mutation. Okay? But the thing is, you already did that. You already did that work. So that's why spirit is here now, because it's not going to allow this petty stuff. I didn't want to say that word. It's not going to allow that petty stuff for those petty people in your bubble. Because it's time for you to win. However, the strength, I do want to read out of the book, okay? Because this might resonate a little bit different for each one of you. But the strength is a position of power. It's a position of leadership. It's a position of being seen, okay? Not to build your ego, but to show off the process, the work, the spiritual mutation that happens through transformation, through quantum leaping, through ego deaths, through the spiritual awakening process, okay? And it's very real, it's very tangible because it's gonna show in your reality. Um, so yes, the strength, courage, calmness, quiet strength, influence, graceful leadership, gifted healer, okay? Purity of thought and heart, spiritual matters, compassion, sometimes lust or animalistic instinct. Be brave, sweet seer, embody your light and shine courageously in the face of danger or uncertainty. Step into the patience of fear, serenity as you exert your graceful influence for the greater good. Exactly. Positions of power. The strength to the star. You're going to be seen, Pisces. And a lot of you, I know how much you value your privacy, but there's a, there's a greater mission at play here. Where again, it can be in your own family circle. It can be in your own community. It can be in your workplace. It can be in your own platform. Wherever this is. It's a role of influence and leadership where the star with the strength, this is, this is a requirement to be seen, to allow yourself to be seen, not to build your ego, not to do any of that, but because you are a role model, Pisces. Like it or not, whether these magicians in the reverse accept it or don't accept it, I'm going to say it, Pisces, you are the role model. And even the haters that hate on certain aspects of you is because they want that. They want that and because they feel like they can't have it, they hate on it. And so again, it's, it's an evolution process. It's, it's like there's a shadow side to that. There's also a light side to that. But it's, it's a whole thing, Pisces. It's a whole thing. But this is why. This is why, Pisces. There's a great fortitude in your calm heart and a gentle demeanor that will not be mistaken for weakness when you share your gift of relentless love with the world. Allow confidence and composure to guide you towards your desires without the use of excessive force or aggression. Mindful awareness will be much more useful than rigid control now. This card reminds you to stand strong in your beliefs and desires and to remain steady as you bring compassion to your current situation. You are powerful and your purity of heart will be a beacon of strength and inspiration to those around you. I deliberately bring my compassion and strength forward and I use them for good. Exactly, Pisces. 
because of the lessons that you went through, because of the character that you've been able to build, Spirit now has that trust in your... Because again, you went through all this, you transformed, you've achieved a certain status to yourself, but you remain humble. Like, like there's this like there's this heart to you there's this this grace to you um that honestly i don't think you would have been able to attain without going through this chapter of your life that's why it was necessary Pisces. sometimes we don't understand why certain things happen in our life sometimes we're like that was unnecessary like i could have just skipped that lesson and, and and still understood you know the main thing but the thing is sometimes you really have to go through it so that you can transform and so you're popping back out pisces you're showing up and you're no longer the little lamb that everybody used to know. You're a lion now. And people have a really hard time adjusting to who you are. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's, like, it's like a lot of people are not necessarily wanting to accept this new version of you. And it can feel like family members, co-workers, people around you, like still trying to treat you the same way that they treated you. And it's like, it's just not, it's just not happening now. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like they're i don't know it's like they're they're throwing stones to see what sticks but it's like it's not happening and it's kind of like this very awkward moment where they, they they still try to like talk down or they still try to like talk to you the same way that they used to talk to you or treat you the same way and it's just like it's just like it's not happening you know um and some people are having a very hard time adjusting to this new version of you things that used to slide things that used to just like be acceptable and okay are no longer okay you're a lion now you're no longer a lamb and so i don't know pisces like that's what the magician in the reverse feels like it's like people cannot accept or they're having a, like cognitive dissonance or like a very big disconnect between who they used to know and who you are now it's like what the heck like who is this person in front of me it's, it's like they feel so foreign to you um and they don't know how to connect with you and the thing is like I, the thing is, this is the thing. I don't know why they want to connect with you. I don't know if they have good intentions. But we do have a magician in the reverse. This is someone who likes to manipulate and to control. And they want to find a purpose for everyone in their life from a place of manipulation. So what this feels like, Pisces, is they don't know where to fit you in their life. It's not, you don't want to be a part of their life. But it's like, it's like you're coming back home or like you're popping out. It's like they send this little lamb out, right? A lion is coming back. So they can't treat the lion like a little lamb, okay? Like they can't do that anymore. And there's this level of hunger. Like there's this level of ambition. There's this level of courage and strength that, that you embody now, that you just are it. And, and it's not like you're talking super loud and trying to like enforce or like, no, it's like, it's like your calm, gentle demeanor. Like your silence is, is a presence that is felt. And so they're coming in and they're like, well, wh where do we put Pisces? Like, what? like, it's like Pisces is back, but it's like, I can't treat Pisces the way I used to treat Pisces. Like, how am I gonna, how am I gonna, I don't know if it's like, how am I gonna control or manipulate? Um, I don't know what that is, but it's like, it's like, they don't really know what to do with you, but it's like, you don't want to be a part of their life, but they're trying to, they're trying to be a part of yours, if that makes sense. But because they feel and they know that you don't need them, and that's usually how they control people. It's like, well, what the heck do I offer Pisces? Or what do I have that Pisces wants so that I can hold it against them? The thing is, like, it's, it's a very shady energy, Pisces. Because the magician in the reverse shows all the shadow aspect of the magician. So it's kind of like inverted. So it's like if the magician used to manifest, inspire, uh, you know, help people align with their goals or create or manifest out of thin air. It's like it's inverted now. So the magician in the reverse seeks control seeks power seeks manipulation seeks to be able to maneuver and arrange everyone in their chess games so that they can get what they want or they think that they need from people and so here it's like you're coming up as the lion the lion cannot be treated like a lamb and they're still playing their old tricks with the lamb i don't know why i'm spending so much time here pisces but it's like it's like because they know that you know that you don't need them, it's like they don't really know what to do with themselves. It's like not even just with you, they don't even know what to do with themselves. Like they're feeling challenged on a whole nother level, Pisces. Like like they're having an existential kind of like life questions of like, I don't know, I don't know Pisces because it feels like they used to control everyone in their environment. And it feels like you're coming back home or you're coming back to your roots or you're coming, I don't know what this is about, but it's like you're coming back online or you're, 
I don't know, but it's like people from your past that used to be these magicians in the reverse that are the same people that made you build these walls and protect yourself and have to watch your back and, you know, do it all yourself. It's like those are the same people that are here as a magician in the reverse. However, you're no, you're no longer the lamb, you're the lion. And so uh, there's something that's trying to come through, but I can't get it out, Pisces. It feels like They're trying to be a part of your life now, but they're still trying to control. And it makes no sense because they can't control a lion. You can't control a lion, but they're trying to figure out how to do that. They're trying to figure out how to get to you, Pisces, or how to have something that you want so that they can use it against you. But it's not happening because again, what's in between the magician and you? Justice, Archangel Michael, divine force, divine power. Divine is not letting that happen. And so, Again, I don't, I don't know why. I have, to, I have to acknowledge that the magician in the reverse is here. So for some of you, these are people in your life. These are people like family members. This can even be a father. This can even be a coworker, a boss, a significant, uh, significant other, another friend, another person. Anyone in your environment that might have been a magician in the reverse or that is a magician in the reverse is like there, whether they're there physically or you can start to feel their presence tapping into your energy or psychically, you can start to pick up on their energy, or energetically, they're starting to come in, starting to try and come in. Because again, the, the, the light is focused on you, okay? The star and the strength, okay? There's no denying this position or this status, okay? This is a star, this is the strength. The light is showcasing you. Because of the mission that you now have, that is leading to your ultimate fulfillment, okay? But, but there's, a, there's a process in that. Spirit has a lot of work that like spirit really wants to work with you one on one because there's there's a mission here at play because of the lessons and the wisdom that you now have because of the transformation that you've been able to achieve spirit wants you to showcase that and to teach that and because of that you're going to be placed in a position of influence and leadership so for a lot of you this can be promotions at work this can be people coming to you for advice this can be in your own family you know circle this can be in your own community this can just be you walking in your truth walking in your essence walking in this lion energy and sending out those codes for people that are coming into your into your circle into your bubble into into your even your presence it's major pisces it's major because you're being noticed and whether you like that or not pisces it's a part of the mission it's a part of and again, if it's not your reading, it's not your reading, but it's a part of your mission. Again, strength is number eight. The star, 17, one plus seven, eight, eight, eight. It's a part of this chapter of your life, okay? So it's like everything that you put forth in, in time, in lessons, in spiritual awakenings, and all the things that you had to take hits on, and, and it's like it's now being returned. But it's being returned as this position, as this mission that you now hold um, in order to get to your ultimate fulfillment. So it's, it's like, it's all a part of the, of the package deal. I don't know a better way to explain that. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of hard because it feels kind of specific in the sense that a lot of you have been prepared and primed for this. Like those battles, those wars, that wounded warrior energy was to get you to this point. Like it was all very purposeful. And so because you're in this position now, Pisces, like it or not, there's a lot of haters, okay? The magician in the reverse does represent the haters. And it doesn't mean that you have to have a large following. It doesn't mean that you have to know a lot of people. It's just, it's a vibe that you can pick up from people. Pisces, and, and again, because you're so intuitive, because you're so receptive, you know a hater when you see one. Even if they smile to your face, you know that energy doesn't align. You know what this feels like, Pisces? Because there's an emphasis and a focus placed on you and spirit is doing this purposefully, there is a lot of energy directed towards you. Yes, there's a layer of protection, like they can't get to you. They literally cannot get to you. The justice is here. You can feel it, you can feel it, but it's not gonna get to you. Like spirit is not gonna allow it because spirit has a greater mission for you right now. Like you don't have to fight these battles alone anymore. Divine protection is here. You don't have to worry about it. However, you can feel what this magician in the reverse is doing. They can tap in and out of your energy. So again, what this looks like is you can go to a place. You can go to, I don't know, the grocery store. You can go to the mall. You can go to a gathering, you know. Uh, you can literally just walk by and as you feel people's gazes, okay, everyone is judgmental, okay. Whether we admit it or not, everyone is because there's a context. Like when we see something, 
we assign a certain uh, word to it, right? Like our mind does this naturally. It's like, like be, because of our past experiences, because of our life context, we start to kind of categorize things. We start to kind of like, you know, like our mind kind of puts everything in place. Even if like it's judging a book by its cover, it's like usually how our mind keeps us safe, right? Like, okay, this person, I don't know, like, this person has a knife in their head. Okay, probably a dangerous person, right? Probably shady. Or this person is kind of like mean mugging me or kind of like, I don't know, like, it's like our brain will kind of have a certain perception or context uh, to make sense of things. So this happens naturally. So again, you could be walking down the street, you could be walking into a mall, into the grocery store, you can be going to a, pa uh, a party or a family gathering, you can be at work. And as you feel people's gazes, as you feel people noticing you, because like it or not, you can be wearing a hoodie, a hat, glasses, you can be incognito, people are still gonna notice you because you the light's shining on you purposefully. And so if you feel inside of you, Pisces, oh, this person doesn't like me, or this person kind of feels weird, or they don't feel aligned with my energy, trust and believe that, Pisces, because these people are trying to come in, okay? And you have free will. So if you allow them in, you may get another lesson, okay? Right now, divine and spirit is here. So th there's no way that they can just come in. There's no way that they, that they can catch you off guard because divine has placed protection here. However, you have free will to kind of open the doors. And as the thing that we talked about, right? You have boundaries, you don't have walls anymore. And so it's a good thing. But it's like, if, if, because people are going to be coming to you, Pisces, there's no denying it. And a lot of haters will too, with a big smile on their face, complimenting you, pretending that they like you, but there's something that you've learned. And this is the difference between walls and boundaries. If your intuition is telling you something is off about this person, or I feel like this person doesn't like me, you best, like, you better trust that Pisces. You better trust that because magician in the reverse it's like you're not only attracting the good people to you, you're attracting a lot of moths. This is a lot of light. This is a lot of light, Pisces. There's no denying that. Light is naturally going to attract the moths, okay? Because they want the light that you possess because they don't know how to possess it for, like, they don't know how to create it for themselves. They can do that, but because they're less evolved, they try and take it. And so there, there's a level of discernment, Pisces, and there's a level of trusting your intuition. Again, why is this person here? What are their intentions? If you can't pinpoint that, if you feel like something's a little bit off, don't allow them in. Keep them at arm's length, okay? Again, there's, there's a divine barrier and divine protection, so don't worry. But if you, with your free will, decide to go against your intuition and allow someone who's not aligned with you into your circle or give them the benefit of the doubt, maybe you say, oh, it's all in my head or I'm just projecting. Like, if you feel they don't like you or if you feel something is off or that their intentions are not clear, just don't allow them in Pisces because you are holding a, a major position of influence and power right now. And for the next, you know, for the next stages to come in your life, because spirit is trying to do a lot of work through you to get you to this 10 of cups. Again, this is just a byproduct of your mission. Okay. Ultimate fulfillment is a byproduct of your mission and accomplishing this life mission that you've been placed here to do. And again, because of all your lessons, all your wisdom, you are holding a position of leadership, a position of power, a position of influence. And so again, it's attracting a lot of people to you, good and bad. Uh, so yeah, Pisces, that's the difference between the walls and the boundaries. If you don't feel 100% with them, don't let them in. Or don't tell them everything that you're doing. There's a big emphasis in keeping this to yourself, like you and spirit only, okay? Like don't let a lot of people in on your plans, on your dreams, on the things that you're trying to do, because a lot of the people that are showing up for you right now is magician in the reverse. I can't deny that it's here, okay? There's a level of protection, so there's no need to worry, but if you with your free will allow to allow someone that you don't feel aligned with or that your intuition is telling you no, you'll have another lesson. You don't need those lessons anymore. That's what I'm saying. Like you already passed this level. You already have very strong boundaries. So there's no need to worry about it. I'm just making, I'm just calling an awareness to it because Pisces in these next stages of your life, you're going to be attracting a lot of people into your life. Okay. Because you're exuding a level of success. You're exuding a level of mastery. Who the heck does this Pisces? Who the heck does this? Who, who transforms a lamb into a lion? Who? What you've done, Pisces, is remarkable, okay? It's not to be taken lightly, and it's divine work. Like, this is, this is divine work. This is an entire, like, masterpiece. What you are, what your life is, the transformation that you've been able to attain is a masterpiece. You are high value, okay? So whether you know it or not, whether you believe it or not, this, it's facts, okay? And so because of that, Spirit wants you either to teach this or to showcase this about you to give people hope, to 
to show people that there is a way out. That if they don't like their life circumstances, if they don't like who they are, how they've been treated, that they can change, that they can transform. Like, who the heck does this? From a lamb to a lion? How do you even make that connection? That's a whole metamorphosis process. And so because of that, Pisces, there's a greater mission at play here that Spirit wants to showcase you for. Okay? Like, this is graduating with all the badges of honor kind of situation, Pisces. Like, you died, Pisces. How the heck How the heck did you come back into life? And not only as a wounded lamb, but as a, as a strong lion. Like, I don't think you understand, Pisces, like how drastic this is and how impressive this work is. Whether you know it or not, whether you understand it or not, in these next stages of your life, you are going to be placed in positions of influence, positions of leadership, positions of teaching, uh, who knows how that's going to manifest in your life. It's different for everyone, but it is a star, okay? And it's leading to your ultimate fulfillment. So very good news, Pisces. Again, I have to make you aware of the haters because you're attract. Okay, I have to be honest, but you're attracting a lot of haters. Um, I, don't, I don't like how that sounds at all, but it's like, it's less evolved, Pisces. Yes, you are attracting a lot of haters, but it's, it's in the sense that they really want what you have, Pisces someone who manipulates someone who wants to control everything around them is someone who has felt they don't have control over certain areas of their life so it's like it's like the abuser was once the victim does that make sense and again that it's like you don't have to allow that abuser into your life at all or you know have compassion for them from far away okay you don't have to let them in but it's like that abuser was a victim was a lamb in a certain area of their life and so they learn to take they learn to be conniving they learn to you know be like this magician in the reverse a manipulator a taker because in areas of their life they have felt powerless and so when they can take that power from other people they feel like they're starting to get that back for themselves however they're not doing that through doing the inner work they're doing that through taking it away from others and so you are teaching these haters pisces the biggest lesson of their lives they might not know it yet but that's why you know i don't like i don't like the whole like haters kind of like vibe or like focusing on other people i don't like that but you are their biggest teacher. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, it's the hopes of them once, you know, in their lifetime, being able to attain the kind of light that you've been able to attain for yourself. Because again, knowing Pisces, Pisces doesn't take it out against anyone. Pisces self-destructs. Pisces takes it out against themselves. And that's not healthy. It's not healthy, but at least you don't do it to anyone else. Does that make sense? But through that process, you've been able to love yourself and to become a whole freaking lion. And now you're not allowing that petty treatment. And so there's a lesson in this to them. It's like, you're going to be the biggest medicine and the biggest change and shock to these haters. You're going to be their biggest lesson and maybe even change so many lives from the haters. Okay, not just the people who love you and love what it is that you're doing, but these haters, these magicians in the reverse, as they learn these lessons through you, because you are their role model, they're going to be transforming. So Pisces, yes, it's like, like, like it's like there's a lot of heat like like you're being placed in a position where where there's a lot of heat yes but it's not getting to you it's not getting to you because justice is here okay so justice is not allowing these magicians to get to you so it's like spirits placing this big spotlight on you but there's like this golden globe a golden bubble of protection around you you're bubble wrapped you're protected there's divine orders to keep you safe and protected to just shine and to feel safe shining where you are and not allowing these petty people in because as you shine there, being your authentic self, they're going to learn the biggest lesson of their life. Pisces, these haters are the ones that are going to benefit most from who you've become. You're their biggest teacher, Pisces. Holy, oh my God, uh, what the heck? Like, I don't know, I don't know who you are, like, because this feels very spiritual, Pisces. I don't know, like, what this lesson is. <laughs> I don't know, I don't even know how you transform like that, Pisces. And again, I know because it's like, it's like through those battles, through building your character, through all the times that you had to watch your own back, it's like that's how that happens. Through dying, literally, that's how you're rebirthed. Through those ego deaths, through like people leaving you for dead, stabbing all those swords on your back, that's literally how you become a brand new person. That's literally how you rise. Oftentimes, Pisces, like we have this like idealistic vision that success comes from like, I don't know, like the positive affirmations, the positive thinking, the TED Talks and all this. It's like, it's not true is not really true and the reality of the situation pisces is success is really fueled by anger by pain by destruction by death by um dying and re rebirthing like rising from the phoenix in the ashes losing it all like success is 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 inspired by the hardships 
So it's, it's like, it's not like all light and love, Pisces. It's really not. It's like, and the thing is, a lot of Pisces have so much sadness to pull from. And Pisces actually manifest from sadness. Okay? Pisces actually manifest from sadness. And so, again, if you have oceans of that, <laughs> it's like there's so much beauty that can come from it. And that's the thing, Pisces. This is the transmutation process. From a lamb to a lion. What the heck? That's alchemy. That's transmutation. Transformation. Like, I don't think anyone does it like you, Pisces. And I'm not even, I'm not trying to build your ego, Pisces. But you are the star. You are the strength. There's no denying that. Okay? There's a queen of swords and a queen of cups here. Both you. It doesn't matter if you're female or male. It's just talking about the archetype. And then there's justice. It's like, it, these magicians in the reverse have to get through the justice, divine orders. No one can get through divine orders. To the Queen of Cups, to the Queen of Swords, to get to the, the strength and the star. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So, like, what I'm feeling, Pisces, is like, if before you were so afraid to shine and to be your authentic self because you literally had magicians in the reverse putting you down, is that you had to, you felt like, not like hiding, but it's like you felt like you had to protect yourself. You had to, like, keep your light inside so that you wouldn't attract these moths. It's like now there's a divine shield, divine protection here. They can't get to you. So the more you shine now, the more you succeed. The more you let it out, the more you become, the more you attract opportunities. Your mission right now is to shine unapologetically and authentically. That is how your money is going to come in. That is how opportunities are going to come in. That is how your soul tribe, your soul family, your people are going to come into your life. That's how. Before, there was a need to protect and to like build these walls and build this castle because you have to fight these battles alone. But nine of wands is in the reverse. Hello, new stage in your life. This is beautiful, Pisces. I don't know who you are, but this is very impressive. <laughs> oh my God, Pisces. I'm really excited because it's like you're going to live a life like you've never lived before because it feels like your whole life was kind of like survival mode. It feels like you were on defense because that's what the nine of wands talks about. Long battles, long years of war and walls yes a shield a sword a torch like you're ready to go you know if they want to go you're ready to go you've done it before you're seasoned but now it's like you're stepping into a whole new reality pisces where your job is literally to shine like what the heck <laughs> what the heck pisces what did you do i don't know who you are i don't know pisces but you're the star and the strength it is magical um so pisces that's all i have um I'm going to do an extended for this reading because I want to pull more cards on this magician. I want to pull more cards on this mission, on what the star is specifically and the strength. I'm also going to pull more cards on the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. It literally feels like two aspects of you, okay? Like you've mastered two very important aspects of you, the boundaries and the love and the compassion. It's like before you were probably just the lamb, the love and the compassion, but now you have the sword, which is the Queen of Swords, which represents the lion that protects the lamb. So it's like two aspects of you. But again, I'm going to do more clarification. I want to see what this magician in the reverse is. I'm going to pull more cards. I'm going to dive deeper. If this resonates for you, there's going to be a link to the extended reading. You can watch it on Patreon or Vimeo. So you'll have two options. Um, but Pisces, this is all I have. I'm going to move it to the extended. If you would like a private reading, the information is in the description box below. Be sure to include your name, your birthday, and your questions. Uh, but for now, Pisces, I'm moving this over to the extended. Blessings. Take care.